Hello everybody, this is Mateo, and Spooky Swamp Time. Now I actually think I might remember bits and pieces from this one. Uh, but it might be an entirely different world. But I remember parts, so maybe. And if I am remembering correctly, we can play through this entire level. No animal buddies that we need to worry about. Okay, so right from the very beginning, we have weird guys with uh, flashy tails. Yeah, w weird. They're pretty neat, though. I like their design. And let's talk to him. What's going on? Homer? Oh, God. Thanks for saving me. Oh, God, they speak in haiku. Okay, well, they are fireflies. Interesting. And, well, what we want to do is light all four of these torches. From the very beginning, it says, however many out of four. So, you know that there are four torches, and that's our uh, goal here. Not at, and an enemy that doesn't really look like a Rhinoch. Also, pretty sure that water is, like, poisonous, or there's a, um... There's... what's the word? Come on, tank? Tank? There are piranhas in that, or I think there was a sign that said piranhas, actually. That's their excuse. Oh, well, no underwater gems, then, on the bright side. Also, crawfish. They release butterflies. <laughs> Sparks gets to get his revenge after the crawdad farm. Although, um, really, it's Spyro getting revenge for Sparks. And that guy, he does nothing, apparently. Yeah, here, oh, well, I just kind of blew it up accidentally, but there was a sign that indeed had a piranha on it, so don't go jumping in the water, it would be rather painful, I would assume. And that's also not how you climb up a ladder, Spyro, let's go up the other way, that makes sense. There we go, let's go ahead and light this, and jump into the flame for no apparent reason. Okay. Oh hey, it's our only the second locked chest in the game. That's kind of surprising how little of these they have. I mean, in the other games, they had a whole bunch of them, and I just got hit in the face by a lantern. That's not fun, but we need to remember that locked chest. Also, is that Nag over there? Kind of out in the open and really easy to get. Okay, well there we go, we saved Michael. Yay, he has huge buck teeth. What does that remind me? It kind of reminds me of Spongebob, actually. I was trying to think of what cartoon that reminded me of. There we go. And midair kill. And he shocked me. And piranhas are destroying me. Wow, that was bad. Okay. Uh, let's just pretend that that didn't happen and grab this gem that I missed. So probably good thing I died because I saw that gem. Otherwise, I w would have most definitely missed it. But let's not get shot by that guy's slingshot or whatever. And that is actually a dead end. There's a warning sign there for a reason. It is meant to warn me of incoming doom. And I almost didn't listen, unfortunately. What just exploded? It sounded like something just exploded. Oh, well. Okay, I'm here we are coming up on our third lantern. Also, these guys are kind of weird, but they're really easy. Ha, you can't get me. I'm on the wrong side of the ladder. Take that, weird guy. Weird green thing with the saber teeth. Ha, they move really slowly, though, and they're incredibly easy to kill. Anything kills them, so really easy. Now, wait a second. I this wall, it looks okay. You can't climb up it. It looked kind of suspicious. Like you could climb up it, but apparently not. And if I could break that jar as well, that'd be fantastic. There we go. Uh, burn that guy to get revenge. These guys charge at you, kind of difficult. Just got a time. There's an egg on that mushroom, which it's actually somewhat difficult to get. So yay for that. They're actually getting better at hiding these things. Uh, that way I've already gone, and that way I've already gone. So let's just go up here and burn another torch. Or something. So that's three, and that's really the only thing that we need to do here. I'm assuming we'll get to the mushrooms in a second once we get up to higher ground, probably after we light all four of the torches. Or whatever you call them, I'm just gonna call them torches, for lack of a better word. They're m oh money bags. There might be an achievement if you destroy all the, um... This door is jammed shut. Yeah. Only the power of gems can hope to move it. <laughs> he speaks in IQ as well. Okay, I'll pay you for that performance. Aw, you've made a wise choice. It will mean more eggs for you and more gems for me. Best of all, Spyro. Okay, so I can stop speaking haiku. What a relief. <laughs> what a sweet relief, actually. Aw, oh, man, I honestly, out of all lines for me to accidentally skip of Moneybags' 
I skipped that one, possibly his best line. Talking to me. I hate speaking in haiku. Just go find some gems. Does he say anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, that's awesome how he speaks in haikus as well. You know, why are all the people here speaking in haikus anyways? Ah, uh, whatever. It's just a character quirk, I guess, to make them more interesting. And it, it did indeed make uh, money bags more interesting, so there you go. It succeeded, I guess. Oh, hey, there's a firefly up there, and there's a slingshot guy over there, and here's our fourth torch. It all comes together. There we go, burn it, and it opens up that door. So many portals, I can see two immediately. Okay, and also this pathway right here, so I think I'm going to go here first, because I'm pretty sure that this will lead to the mushrooms from earlier. Yeah, see, right here. And then we can go ahead, cross through, and get all the eggs in this single gem. And by all the eggs, I mean just this one right here. So that dead end is out of the way. Frank. Really plain names in this area so far, it seems. I mean, we haven't had one different one yet. Although, we haven't really given it much chance. Oh, there was the key up there on those mushrooms. Dang it. Okay, well, I'll go back grab that right now, I guess, because that's an easy dead end to clear out, and then we'll do all the portals and stuff. I'm pretty sure there's actually a, a Sheila section in this level, so that won't be fun. I don't remember liking that one. It's pretty difficult. Okay, so where is the key relative to here? I think it's, yeah, right there. Okay, well, I should be able to... Yeah, there we go. Okay, so let's quickly... I like the key sprite that they have that just shows up right there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and use that quick now, since I have it. So let's go, go, go! Who cares about where I'm supposed to jump and where I'm not supposed to jump? There, that didn't take all too long. The key jars also look really cool in this game. Not just like a metal jar with a lock over it like the past few ones were, and that was a 25! They barely give you any of those in this game. Nice! So that amounted to almost 50 gems, I think. I wasn't really paying attention. That and it's also summer, so I don't have to math. Ha ha ha. Oh god, although I do- oh. You can stay in the piranha-filled waters as long as a piranha doesn't approach you. And they will approach you as soon as you, uh, jump in their water. Which makes sense. But just stay out of it, and if you do get go into it, quickly jump out. Also, let's finally talk to this firefly, listen to his you haiku. Brave dragon. Much braver than I, by far. Here, take this darn egg. Darn egg. Yeah, thank you. This is our third one. There's the weird name. Thelonius. Thelonius. Sounds Greek or something. Like, one of those old Greek names. The tea lamps are lit. Now I'll tell you the secret of what's in this house. Okay, what's in the it? The creepy wizard lives inside but hates the light. He has awoken. Oh, okay. So we have like a mini boss. Destroy whoever lights the tea lamps. Oh, that's me. You than me. <laughs> Thank you very much. Use wizard's bombs against him. Avoid gators. And yep, there is indeed a Sheila section in here. So we have three portals, and I'm assuming that all of them have one egg. Also, there is our pathway back to the beginning if we wanted to go there. Actually, that Sheila portal might have been the uh, quote-unquote second one that I was seeing. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we only have two portals. This one is probably just one egg with the fighting the wizard, and then Sheila has the last two eggs. So let's go ahead and fight the wizard. Yay! Okay, he looks incredibly sleepy. But hey, mini boss battle, what is this? Okay, so I either have to char yeah, I have to charge them into him, and then he will take damage. But hey, mini boss, that's pretty neat. Oh, and then he shoots at enemies? Whatever. Oh, these are the gators? And they don't really look like gators, but okay. Um, oh, I have to actually angle it correctly. That's dumb. Avoid the gators, I'll just kill them all. Forget that. No, oh, don't accidentally charge into the bomb, though. I'm doing a great job of dodging those gators, by the way. I'm always half dead already. Okay, let's just hurry up and kill them before he... Rele he released his next bomb. Well, let's just hurry up, hit it. It was that. Ah, oh, it wasn't close enough. Could we maybe. What are you doing? What are these red ones? Oh, hey, he killed one of his gators for me. Awesome. Also, I was not getting any headway on those gators, and that was really bad. 
Okay, let's see if I can kill two of them right off the bat, and then turn around and kill the third one. Okay, I should try that, although I am nearly dead, so I don't really know. Also, if I could- there we go, got it right. Maybe I interrupted his gator attack, and he's just going to- nope, didn't quite do it like I thought I would. Whoa, okay, whoa, that water actually hurts me. It's death water! Yeah, okay, so now that I know what I'm actually supposed to do with the gators and everything, I think I'm okay. There we go. For a very sleepy wizard, though, he really doesn't- he really is pretty good at fighting. Or rather, his gators are. Really, they're the one, only ones that are hurting me in this. He isn't doing very much of anything. Although, a little timer does show up in front of the bomb, so you do kind of want to hurry up or get the heck out of there. One of the two. So let's go ahead, kill one gator, I guess. Oh man, I'm missing them. Oh crap, flame, flame. Can I hurry up, hurry up? Oh man, I charged right into that explosion and I didn't get hit, I am lucky. There we go, see that's what you're supposed to do. And charge it straight at him. Now he's already down to his last bit of health. And I think he only tosses out the red magic if you've already done one phase of gators and there are still gators out there. Like, not then. Also, these bombs blow up quickly. There we go. One second and then it suddenly stops exploding. And then we rescued Herbie. That reminds me of this uh, movie with the beetle car. It was like white and the girl drove it and it could dro drive itself. Like, it was an intelligent car basically. Although, I don't remember exactly what it was called. Maybe it was Herbie. There we go, there were no gems in that section, luckily, just a boss fight. And now we can go, uh, play as Sheila again. This swamp smells so sweet. Oh this god, she speaks in haikus favorite. as well. I'm off to kick butt. Yep, that's what you always do. I kind of forget Sheila's controls a little bit. Isn't it? Okay, yeah, I forgot what the circle and square button did, but that's because they do the same thing. So, yep. Yet again, I love Sheila's theme, by the way. It's just so kind of weird. But we have gems to pick up and stuff. And if I remember right, yeah, these guys are back. Or, well, they're kind of back. I mean, they kind of remind me of those guys that sounded like SpongeBob in the very uh, second game, actually, not the first. So kind of neat. Also, there is a locked up purple gem right there, which let's see here. Um, no way that I can see to get it, actually, and Sparks' um, extra uh, range can't pick it up, I guess. But, yeah, you might want to, like, take a look at this area. You're going to need to break the rocks and uh, ground pound in the, um, the uh, mushrooms or nails or whatever they are. Because these guys are going to be carrying bombs or something like that, because always bombs. And they're going to be bringing it over all this way, in the most complicated path possible, over to here, in order to save the dragon eggs. So you can see them right here, because we can't like kick them open ourselves or anything like that, no. That would, that would actually be good. Oh, there's a 20. That was really easy to get, actually. Unless that's a different one. I could have sworn I didn't see the, like, that way, but, well, well, like, the opening behind it, but we'll go with it, I guess. Yeah, they, these kind of look like nails, but they're actually mushrooms. They are nail-shaped mushrooms, I guess. There is, okay, that's back by the entrance. Yeah, okay, so, easy purple jump to grab, I guess. And we can high jump, although you probably aren't really going to be doing that a whole lot in this section because you want to be fast and there really is no platforming behind it but you just want to make sure that you're paying attention to where these guys are going some more gems these should be our last gems or in this section at least i'm pretty sure because we paid another 500 uh 2900 is our max so we're missing 32 of them at the moment which is kind of a big number actually to be missing Hmm, weird. Maybe there is another secret section here with the 25 that I didn't grab. Well, there's a one right here, which is good to grab. Yeah, I did grab that 25. I don't know, I feel- oh! Is that a thing? No, I think that might just be decorations. It looked like a whole bunch of cracks in the wall. Yep, apparently so. 
Okay, well, I think I'm just going to do this minigame, and if I happen to see it, then I'll go grab it, but otherwise, I really can't think of where it would be, so let's finally talk to these guys. Oh no, it's not the... well, they kind of look like the guys from the last world, or the last game. Um, yes, I love your freestyle haiku. <laughs> Should have answered in a haiku, Sheila. What, how are they your little eggs? These are dragon eggs, sir. But yeah, b bombing an egg, totally okay. But just go ahead, clear the path for him. He's going to go in a ridiculous path. So just make sure you're ready. I think this guy, you only have to smash rocks. Mm, maybe this mushroom. Let's go ahead, ground pound that. Yeah. Otherwise, they'll get in their path, because they can't just go around it because they're dumb. And it will blow up- the bomb will blow up in their face. Um, smash that. Okay. Smash that. We're getting close-ish. I think this mushroom is going to pass by. Oh man, that was close. Stop jumping on him. Sheila! Oh man. Don't- don't go back up. Oh, that was... God, so incredibly close. I am freaking out here, and this is the easy path. The next one's going to be even more difficult. Oh, boy. Okay, there we go, we made it. And then you can go ahead and bomb the, e bomb the egg. Yeah, and then I can grab it. Eggs, Peggy, that's an egg pun, oh boy. Okay. So, now for the next one, I'm most likely going to need to edit. Oh, hi, guy. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah. Not unfortunately. Why not just walk around the rocks? I mean, it, there's a huge... No more haiku, please. I love these responses. Uh, but seriously, just go around the rocks. I mean, look, that's not that difficult. I just went around it. Oh, you went the completely different way. Yeah, see, the idiot just runs right into it, and he, have, he even has glasses. Maybe they're not the right, um, prescription. But yeah, he goes a different path. So, watch out. And again, why they can't just go around all this crap, I don't know. But he seems to, like, purposefully want to run into everything. Like, he will go in, like, the completely wrong way in order to run into stuff, it seems. Then he also just curves his path a lot, so you never really know what he's going to possibly run into next. So you really just have to kind of memorize what rocks and mushrooms to break. But yeah, I'm probably just going to edit here and show my successful attempt. So I will see you all then. No, oh, dang it, I missed the rock. I love how their glasses fall off like that. It's and it's a funny death animation. Well, death, quote-unquote. Failure anima animation, I guess. Aw, oh, dang it. Come on. Very last mushroom. Okay, well, it's not as bad as I remember it being, for whatever reason. I remember having a very hard time with this. Maybe I was just dumb, and I didn't, like, memorize his path. Well, either way, I, that, I lost on the very last thing, unfortunately. But I got it this time. Also, wasn't there supposed to be a rock by now? Huh, weird. Okay, well then. If there are going to be no rocks in my path, let's just go, guy. Just mushrooms. Okay, weird. Maybe they took out the rocks because they felt sorry for me for being so bad at this game. That's a complete possibility. Wow, really? There really should have been, like, four rocks by now. What is this? Okay, well, let's go, guy. Easy mode, I guess. For whatever reason. Oh, god, I'm about to fail easy mode. I just failed easy mode. Wow. I completely forgot about the mushroom there, to be quite honest. Yes, okay, are there still rocks? No, the rocks are still gone. Huh. Well, then maybe they just haven't respawned since the last time that I broke them? Or maybe they really did take them out because I'm failing at this so much. Wow, okay. well, I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's just do this. Okay, so, oh man, still the mushrooms, though. <laughs> I wonder if eventually they'll just get rid of the mushrooms and just give them a clear path. 
Although I feel like getting rid of the mushrooms and not the rocks would have been easier. But whatever. Okay, let's just go up and find the next mushroom. Right here. Then when he... Right now, I guess. Yep, that was good timing. And then this mushroom right here. And then we should be done. For a second I thought he was going to go to this mushroom, which is why I failed the last attempt, because I was going for that one. But nope, here we go. Easy mode complete. We got an egg. Michelle, or Michael. No, he has a bow in her hair, so, or on her face, so I'm guessing that's Michelle. The egg. Oh, our free the two dragons are born today, Sheila's my hero. Oh yeah. So now let's see if I can find the last, I think it was 32 gems? Uh, 31 actually. Because I found that one red gem just randomly lying around here. I'm, I feel as though there might be one more secret purple gem somewhere in this area. That's just more decoration, don't freak out me. Uh, so I'm going to look around, and if I find it, I will stop cutting again. And if not, well, we'll probably, if I'm completely stumped, we'll just wait and- Oh, hello. Uh, maybe this contains all of them, actually. High jump, break. Oh, this looks like quite a bit. So, maybe, no cutting at all then. Uh, no, not quite. Okay. Fourteen more. Probably in, like, one secret compartment like that or something like that. So I will continue to look around for that instead, and I will see you all when I find it. Okay, so it's the exact same thing, like, two seconds later, in the exact same kind of secret. I kind of felt like it would be something like that. But there's another ten, and we're still missing... F wow! Just so many hidden things. Okay, so cutting it again. Maybe this cut will last more than two seconds, and then I'll actually feel like cutting it. Yeah. Okay, so yet another broken wall. Like, well, half broken wall like this. I am so good at finding secrets in this game, and I am so good at timing this. There we go. That's one, two, and there's the other two. There we go. All 500 gems, finally. And I knew that they were all in this section. So there we go, level complete. With some difficulties with the gems. I don't think I'm actually going to cut any of that out, because it was way too short of a time to really matter. Mm, well, there you go. Also, we are... For a second I thought I was still playing as Sheila. Oh, wrong thing. I didn't want to go back here. I thought that this is... I was looking for the exit level portal? How do you ex- oh, just randomly stand in the middle, I guess. That will make you exit the level. Okay, then. Well, let's just go through the exit level portal. Our gem count has basically remained the same, because Moneybags keeps on taking our money from us as soon as we get it. Kind of unfortunate, but it allows us to get more eggs and stuff, so... Oh, well. Still annoying, though. I'd like to have that treasure for my own. Maybe someday. Okay, so that is another level complete, and in the next one, we will go check out, uh, Bamboo Terrace. How many more levels do we have there? I think we only have two more. That one, and the Speedway, and the Sparks level, actually. Okay, so I think Bamboo Terrace is the last actual world we have going on here. Um, I could quickly check, I guess. Let's go ahead and check the Atlas here. Oh, not- oh, okay, um, let's ac access- oh, wait, uh, that- well, there we go. Yeah, Bamboo Terrace, and then we'll go to the Speedway, and then fight Spike. These bosses have very uncreative names, just saying. Okay, but next time, Bamboo Terrace, the last actual world in this area, so yay for that. See you all then.